we just arrived here in Denmark, a little bit outside Copenhagen. Now we just set the whole camp up and we're gonna start to wash the vehicles, do the washing of laundries and do the rooms. Just in general, set everything up. Everyone has their role because of the dynamic environment. You have to be so flexible and everyone's like willing to help whoever has time. That's essential in this environment and um, one of the strengths of the backup team. A typical day on a Tour de France is that they're long days. They, they tend to be full on from first thing in the morning to last thing at night. We're working at a really high level here with Ineos Grenadiers and the expectations from the riders and from the staff are, are, are always high and we always have to be on it. You can get a drama at any time and it's just being ready for that, being available and being um, sharp of mind when, when something happens. A lot of the work that we do is working with the nutritionist to try to optimise the nutritional input to make sure that their weights are ideal so that we get the rider to the start line at the beginning of the race in the best possible shape. It's a perfectly fully functioning kitchen, everything works really well. You've got all the toys we need, we've got everything uh, which does very well. I'd love a barbecue, for sure, I think that'd be great, like a nice little outside barbecue, or even like a little pizza oven. We can't have everything. Cleanliness is, is key. We could potentially make multiple riders sick, and then that's game over. That's one of the main reasons why we have chefs, the main reason why we're not eating in hotels, so that we can make sure we keep the quality of where we work the same all the time. You end up going to some hotels and the kitchens are pretty scary looking. Even having our small kitchen van is really important because we can control this entire area, which is really nice. An interesting request I've had for this race is a truffle omelet. So I've managed to pick up some nice truffles here in Copenhagen. I wouldn't say that's the weirdest, but probably um, one of the most decadent uh, omelettes we would do. I wouldn't say anything too crazy out of normal. We need to keep things relatively plain for the riders. You don't want to upset too many stomachs with too many jazzy flavours. Doing like a, a sweet harissa grilled chicken with a nice little herby couscous with some za'atar carrots and a little red cabbage salad with a nice little tahini pomegranate dressing. Washing riders laundry can make a big difference because if they get infection through their clothing or through their chamois, they can get a cell sore infection and that means winning or losing the race. We're here in a service truck. This is the middle area with all the drying machines, wash machines. After the stage, each rider has dirty laundry and especially in the cold weather or rainy days and it's all extra dirty. So that's why we have three wash machines and three dryers. We wash each rider's bag separate, so each rider goes in each machine. So if we have eight riders, we need eight cycles to wash their kit. This is the team bus, place where our riders spend a lot of time in the transfer from the hotel to the start of the stage in the morning. So this is the seat of Garen Thomas. In the team we call him G. This is the equipment that he uses on a daily basis. He has the choice in between different helmets. He obviously has his rain bags. He's actually a Tour de France winner. He won the race in 2018, so he knows exactly what it takes to win one of the biggest cycling race in the world. We're now what we call the little office of the bus. So this is where a lot of us are, are spending time working, doing the plans. Several people are also traveling in the bus during the day so they can do meetings. We can shut the doors, they can watch the race. So this is the nutrition compartment where we actually store most of what the riders will need on the day. And this is mainly the nutrition that they will use throughout the race for them to perform as best as possible. The back of the bus uh, tends to be one of the most hectic places on race. If we've had a spill, if somebody's crashed, and we always have to be on it. You have to be ready for things. You can get a drama at any time and it's just being ready for that.